Hello and welcome to Creating an Internal Exchange Transaction, or IET, in AZ360. We will be demonstrating this process in one of our test environments and the screen has been zoomed in for optimal viewing. In our test scenario, a user has received a request to create an IET transaction to record an internal transfer of funds. Note that we are already logged into the AZ360 application and the general accounting business role has been selected in the top right. To get started, we will navigate to the global search menu, ensure that page code has been selected, and in the search here menu, we will type in IET and select internal exchange transaction from the dropdown. The financial transaction page will generate. Uh, once it renders, we will click the create button in the top right. Okay, on the create transaction screen, we will enter our department three digit code, ADA, check off auto numbering and select continue. Okay, a new IET transaction generates, uh, opens to the header tab. Under the general information section, trans transaction description field, we will enter the reason for the transaction. In this case, it is to record an internal transfer of funds. We will also ensure that the indicator field has provider seller selected. Note that that is the default value. And in this case, we will enter a fiscal year 2023. We are entering this value because we are in the training environment and this is a required field for the transaction to validate successfully. Note that users in the production environment, which is where the majority of our users will function, will not have to enter a fiscal, fiscal year as this value will default whenever creating a new transaction. Okay, next we'll navigate to the Exchange Details tab. Uh, this is where the COA or chart of account elements for the party initiating and making the transfer is added to the transaction. In the tab level actions, we will click the plus sign to add a new line. In the line amount field, we will enter the amount of the transfer. In this case, $6,000 or just 6,000. Our department will be ADA. We will be entering a function, GSDUT22000, and our object will be 7181. Note that we are leaving the other COA fields blank, including the task. Um, as they will infer from the function after the transaction is validated. Go ahead and click the expand caret. And under the general information section, we will go ahead and select an event type from the pick list. In this scenario, we will be utilizing INZ1, which is an expenditure to expenditure transfer. Click OK. All right, next we will navigate to the second party accounting tab. This tab is used to record the COA information for the party receiving the IET transaction. Just like with the Exchange Details tab, in the Tab Level Action section, we will click the plus sign to add a line. The line amount will be the same amount of, of the transfer, $6,000. The department will be the same. Keep in mind that because this is an internal transfer, everything is occurring within the same department. There will be a different function entered on this tab, um, which will serve to transfer the funds to the appropriate party. So in the function field, we will enter function AS3B. 0408 PT. All right, we will enter an object 7181. Again, we will leave the um, remaining COA fields open as they will be inferred by the function. And we will go ahead and validate the transaction to check for errors. Transaction has validated successfully, and then we will submit the transaction to our next line agency approver. And we have completed the process of creating an internal exchange transaction in AZ360. Go ahead and click the home icon to return to the home page.